Hi, I'm Liam Burns, and these are all the things that are in my room. Like many of you, my room is the source of all my joy and comfort. It has my desk, my chair, and even my bed. Sometimes it even has Bilbo. My brother used to share the bunk with me, but now it's only a shell of its former self. The top only a home for this glamorous chandelier and my mother's wizarding cave. But still, the view from up top remains luxurious. Me and my brother also share desks on opposite sides of the room. You'll notice that mine is much cleaner. But I think what I like most about my room is all the stuff that's inside. Like the globe I used to turn on at night that doesn't seem to work any, any, anymore. Or the lightsaber that I got that definitely won the, that, that was a good Christmas present. And who could forget the deodorant, that, which was equally good of a gift. Or my guitar that I really like to pretend to know how to play. Or my favorite pair of shoes that were given to me by a very good friend of mine. Everywhere you go in my room, you'll be surrounded by creature comforts. And I think there's no better example than in the closet. With the expectation to geese yourself any which way, the closet can seem like the perfect place for, uh, for comfort. But when you look at it from another perspective, it can feel rather confining. And then you step back and think, maybe this isn't the only part of my room that takes advantage of my comfort and treats me like a prisoner. The room can serve as a mask, if you will, by protecting yourself from the dangers of the outside world. But if you always stayed in your room, when would you ride the waves of the Japanese sea? Or witness the beauty of an ocean sunset? Or see a, a, a tree? Or feel the cold mountain air swell up your lungs and make you really feel alive? Perhaps I'm being too harsh on my room. After all, this is the place that holds the majority of my most prized memories. Like the time that I hung up the letter from Cal Football Camp without realizing that they sent it to every kid there. Or the time that I played in the Flag Football National Tournament and the time that I coached in it. Or that time eight months ago when I graduated from high school and all the medals that I got along the way, even though some seemed to pop up more than others. Or my ripped 2021 sign that I used to celebrate the new year or the impressive pile of books under my bed that, that I haven't read. Or my trophy from the one year of high school football before I quit and joined the drama department. Or the Russian hat that I impulsively bought roaming the streets of Santa Cruz. Or my nifty bedside table that always kept all my essentials, like the Rushmore DVD or the Harry Potter beans and the daily re uh, replenishing body cream. I might even miss my electronic drum nah, I'm not gonna miss my drum set. I'm gonna miss this room a lot when I leave for college in two weeks. But I rest easy knowing that it'll always have an important part of me. So goodbye desk, goodbye bed, goodbye room. <laughs>